Hey everyone, it's LB here coming at you on what I'm calling Money Monday. If you don't know me, my name is LB. I am on a journey to lose 100 pounds, but I also just recently finished a master's degree in finance and I thought it would be fun to share a little bit of my knowledge and in the process of doing that, start a fun little group called the Beauty Box Investment Club where we all just take $25 a month or the cost of a typical beauty box you get delivered to your home and instead invest that money. So what we're gonna do today is buy $25 worth of a specific fund that invests in the S&P 500 or 500 of the largest companies in the US. We're gonna spend that $25, which is just the price of a beauty box, put it into this account and then set up a recurring investment on the 12th of every month so we can see what happens when we start investing our money instead of just using it to buy things, how it can grow, the ups and downs, the wild ride of the stock market, and everything else we can learn. So the S&P 500 are 500 of the largest US companies. So this fund tracks the performance of those companies and their stock prices. It's a good way to initially get into investing because you're already investing in successful companies but you're not putting all of your eggs in one or two or a few baskets. You spread that out across all these different companies, which helps spread out your risk. Of course, there are big swings overall that can happen in the stock market in general. And this kind of fund will be vulnerable to those kind of swings. But overall, it's a generally a safe way to invest some money and start learning. So that's what I'm hoping we can do today. The plan is to make the initial investment now and then do a recurring investment on the 14th of every month. So this will help us do dollar cost averaging, which is where when the price of the stock is higher, you're buying less of it. But if it drops down lower, you're actually buying more shares or fraction of the shares is what we're going to be doing in this fund. So it's a good way to invest regularly is to put the same amount in periodically. And that way you always know you're always contributing to it, but when the price drops, then you're actually buying more of it. And it makes you a little bit more excited when you see the price drop because then you'd say, hey, I'm just buying this, I'm not selling it. So lower price means I'm getting more. I use Robinhood for my fun little stock purchases like this. You can use whatever other kind of account you want. And if you don't live in the US, you can pick a different fund of stocks in your country with whatever kind of investment app or account you can find that'll let you do just small amounts like this. The reason I like Robinhood is just because you only need to put $25 in, that's fine. You don't have to put huge amounts in or buy a whole share of anything. You can invest for as little as a dollar. So I like it as a fun way to play around in the stock market. So here's what I did on the Robinhood app to buy my shares and set up the recurring investment. So this is from the Robinhood app. When I first got into it, I hit the search on the bottom, the little magnifying glass looking thing in the bottom middle and got to browse where I was able to type in VOO, which is the symbol for this Vanguard S&P 500 ETF. So when I click on it, you can actually see the information about this stock. You can see how much volume of the stock is out there, what some previous lows and highs are, that sort of thing, just to get a better understanding of what you're looking at. And people use these numbers to compare this to other stocks or other funds. And as you go down, there's the about S&P 500 ETF section, which shows you that it tracks a market cap weighted index of US large and mid cap stocks selected by the S&P committee. So, and as you already know, VOO is the symbol for this. This just shows some of the returns. You can use this to compare to other stocks you might be looking at. Um, a lot of things have really good returns right now because the stock market has been doing really well right now. So don't get too excited when you see that. And then when you're ready, you can click on the bottom is the buy button. So when you click the buy button, you can select how much you wanna spend. I have it linked to spend money out of money I automatically put in every week into this account, which I have a bunch in there right now because I haven't been buying anything lately, but I bought $25 worth from the money I just keep and deposit into Robinhood. Once that went through, it showed me it was completed and everything looks good. It showed me the number of shares I bought and for how much each share was. And then as I went through, I was able to go to build your portfolio over time. This is where you can set up your recurring investment. So I did that. 
I selected it to happen every month. And first I went to the top where it says starts not Tuesday, August 17th, but I ended up selecting September 14th as the recurring date. And then it'll start repeating this transaction on the 14th of every month. So when that was selected as my start date, I was able to then go back into the other page and select the option of doing it every month. And it automatically populated then on the 14th. And as you go forward, you get to pick which account you fund this out of. So I have it coming straight out of my checking account now instead of in the money that I automatically deposit into Robinhood. So I use the checking account. And now every month on the 14th, I don't have to do anything. It's just going to take $25 from checking and put it into this fund at whatever the price of that fund is that day. So now that everything's confirmed, I can go back into the VOO in the browse, or it's also on my homepage, and see what my current position is, which is still $25 because I just put $25 in. You can see it's already starting to move up and down a little with just fractions of a cent of a change in value. You can see my next purchase will be on September 14th for $25. And I can also scroll down and see I previously made a purchase for $25 today, August 16th. So you can use that to review what you bought, how much you bought it for, and get a better understanding if you, if you wanna check and see what you did. You can still reference it here very easily. So if you're interested in doing this, hopefully you will get the opportunity today or sometime soon to just try it out, buy some shares of VOO is what I'm recommending. But of course, if you wanna do something different or something specific for your country, then go ahead and do that as well. The point is just to learn, to try it out, to see if it works and have a little bit of fun. I really think that since so many of us are comfortable with doing things like spending $25 on a subscription box, whether it be a beauty box or anything else, there are so many kinds out there. Those are a lot of fun, but what if it's a lot of fun and you're also investing in your future instead of just accumulating things? That's the kind of mindset that I wanna switch around with the Beauty Box Investment Club. Of course, I still like beauty boxes. I'm still gonna get some, don't worry about that. But I also want to use just a little bit of fun money to increase my knowledge and my investments. So if you have questions, let me know. If you wanna watch us for a while, see what's going on, please do. Hopefully we will learn a lot. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, come back Wednesday for my weigh-in. I am officially done with my vacations for the summer. School has started today and back to my normal routine is the plan, kind of excited about it. And then I also want to post a video, a, a wise video sometime soon about what my whys are. Anyway, you guys have a lovely day, a lovely week, and I'll see you soon. Bye.